guys, Autumn here for week number five of September and the beginning of October, but I'm going to call it September week number five weekly wrap up. I read a total of four books in the last week. Um, so I read a total of 30 books in September and so far I've read two books in October. Um, so yes. I have a lot to talk about. Actually, not really all that much to talk about, honestly. But let's get started. The first one I read was How to Date a Douchebag, The Teaching Hours by Sarah Nye. This is a novella in the How to Date a Douchebag series. This is book 5.5. Um, and this was in the some type of... A anthology. I don't remember which one, but it was in first published in that anthology. Um, but I gave this five out of five stars. This came out in May 5th, 2020. Um, and I'm just now reading this. So it's been a few months. Um, but this follows Hannah and Rex, and I really enjoyed this. Um, you do meet Rex in the fifth book. I forget what book that is called. Um, Coaching Hours? I think it's the Coaching Hours. Um, and yes, but I highly recommend this series if you're looking for a new adult romance, um, that has sports, um, any Sarah Nye books are really good. Um, and yeah, I don't want to tell you too much because as I said, it's the fifth book. And then I read Touch the Dark by Karen Chance. Um, this is book one in the Cassidy Palmer series. Yeah. And I read this for Sunpack City Lane, which is to read a book on any of their um, romance reveals um, recommended list. Um, so I read that for this. I gave this three out of five stars. This was the first book by this author. This follows Cassandra, um, who is, I don't remember what she is, but she is like a ghost hunter or something, or she did something bad um, to make the mafia vampires after her, um, and it's this story. I listened to this on audio from Overdrive, my library, um, and as I said, three out of five stars. Um, and then I read Getaway Girl by Tessa Bailey. I'm gonna switch to the side. Give me a second. I have to turn over to my notes. Ooh, sorry, my notes right here. Um, this is book one in the Girl series by Tessa Bailey. I listened to this on audio from my library overdrive. Um, this I gave four out of five stars. I used this for Simpack uh, BFF's house. Um, which is to read a friends to lovers romance. This follows Al Addison, who is like a, I would say the black sheep of um, her town, her small town. Um, and she goes to a wedding and she drives the groom like they run away together, um, who is Elijah, and it's that story. I gave this four out of five stars. It was a cute, um, friends to lovers, um, story. And then I read Final Girls by Riley Sagar. Um, um, this is a thriller. Sorry, I, I meant to add a few more things on Getaway Girl, which I'll go back to. But anyways, this <laughs> follows uh, a girl named um, Quincy who survived a serial killer 10 years um, ago. 
um, and it's following her. And one of the other two final girls um, ends up dead, um, and she is now afraid that someone's after the final girls. Um, so it's a thriller of her trying to figure out um, who killed her friend. Um, and she actually has no memory of what happened to her. Um, so she was also, um, learning about what happened to her 10 years ago. Um, I gave this four out of five stars. This is the first book by this author. Um, and I use this for, uh, romance, um, I mean, bookopoly for new to me author. Um, and, Getaway Girl was also for Romanceopoly, not Romanceopoly, wow, Bookopoly for Kendall for short book under 300 pages. Um, so, yes, I gave this four out of five stars. I also listened to this on audio from Overdrive, um, and I really enjoyed it. And then the book I'm currently reading is Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. This is book one in the Hoop series. I am just over 50% um, halfway. Um, I started this last night and I will probably finish this today. I have like six hours and 25 minutes left of the audiobook, but I listened to it at 3.5 speed or 4 speed. So, yes, I should probably finish this tonight. Um, I'm really enjoying this so far. It will probably be a five-star read. Um, but this follows August, who is a basketball star. Um, he gets injured. And then one night um, before his big game, he meets Iris at a bar. And it turns out that Iris is... Um, the girlfriend of one of his enemies, um, a person he doesn't really like on that plays basketball too, um, and it's their story. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. It has very heavy topics, so just be aware this does deal with abuse and um, rape, um, so just be aware of that. Um, if you're warn or like trigger warnings for those um but i really really am enjoying it so far um and as i said it will probably be a five star read but i'm not finished with it yet so i'll talk about it next week when i do but after i finish this um good enough by kelly elliott comes out um to, uh, it comes out tomorrow, but I pre-ordered it, so I will get it at 9 um, tonight, so I'll start that, and I don't know what else. I do have A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss, Moss sorry, um, on audio for from my library, but I think I'm going to, after I finish this audio book, I think I'm going to do Making Me Crazy by Carla Sorensen and then listen to A Court of Thorn and Roses after. So that's that's my like reading update for the week, what I plan to read. Um, yeah, let's see if I actually read in that order. I don't know. But yes, um, what are some books you read? Um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.